Yes. So again, uh, as uh, President uh, Lada talked about, is our, our theme this year is serving to change lives. And one interesting background behind that, it's not only the people we help, but part of it is the fact that it changes our lives in what we do and how we help around the world. Uh, Rotary International is, as been said many times, is you know worldwide. We're in over 200 countries. In fact, more countries Rotary's in than the United Nations, it, members of the United Nations. Our district, we're one of 500 uh, districts, just over 500 districts within Rotary. The map of the left shows the uh, raindrops at each of the clubs. We're basically, uh, to the north, we have the, the Victoria Island, which goes all the way up to Port Hardy at the top, and Western Washington, we go all the way down to Woodside, down near Vancouver, Washington. So there are 92 clubs are divided into 82 areas. So this is obviously useful to the, to the new people here today to learn about it. Our district is part of different zones. The world is divided into 34 zones and uh, each is a pair of zones. So there's 17 directors of which has a pair. So our director has zone 26 and 27. 27, when we're part of it, is the northern part of this map and, uh, and then 26 is the southern one. So it just gives you the size of Rotary and uh, what we're all about here. Rotary and Rotary, the Rotary Foundation are really partners. They're two different entities. Rotary International is what the club belongs to and part of the clubs. The Rotary Foundation is our, our charity arm. It's what we do to make investments in it. And it's a 501c3 here in the United States. So donations given to it are tax deductible. Uh, we've already mentioned the mission below and, and that's really something that we try and do and key in all the things that Rotary does. I can say all sorts of good stuff about the foundation, what it is, but the, the best part about it is that the uh, Charity Navigator, which is one of the premier sources of rating nonprofits, they rate almost all large nonprofits, has given the Rotary Foundation four stars, their highest rating now for 13 years in a row. Something we're very proud of. There are other large foundations such as Make the Wiss, Red Cross, uh, Save a Children, which are great foundations, but they're only three stars. We get it because 92%, a key thing of, of any money part of the foundation goes directly to projects. And over the long term that we're working on sustainability, having our money go forward and, and make it happen in the role. So um, again, the foundation is extremely good and extremely well thought of. I'm gonna start with a quiz. I know this is a pop quiz, so you're real surprised on it. And uh, it's an open book though. So if you have the books, you can open the books to it. But the first question is TRF, does it stand for Rotary Foundation? Lana's nodding yes, so it does. <laughs> One of the things we have is members of our club use Rotary Direct. How many members are our club? Rotary Direct is the automated method that you can donate, sign up with your credit card or your bank account and allow your donations to go directly on a recurring basis, either monthly, quarterly, or annually, and you get to pick the amounts, you get to pick what the money goes towards, but it's something that we're highly encouraging, reduces the role of the treasurer involved in these donations so they happen automatically. So in our club right now, we have six members who are part of the Rotary Direct. Dollars contributed to the annual fund or polio fund and earn Paul Harris points, and that's true. You can join the Polio Hire Society if you commit to giving $100 a year to Polio Plus until it's eradicated. And we'll show you later the pin you can get. A club such as ours who donates $1,500, either the club does or the member does, gets a certificate, which is the end polio certificate in our club does. And we've gotten that many, many years. Um, does our club donate more than $200 a year to the annual fund? And the reason $200 is picked is you'll hear that the grants that we can receive are different based on the amount of money that we donate to the annual fund. And the answer is yes, that we do give more than 200. So we'll be eligible for a $5,000 grant from the foundation in next year because of the amount that we donate. The Rotary Foundation really begins with what's the end in mind. What is this money doing and, and how does it affect? These are just selective pictures from different grants that we've done within our district. Everything from helping wheelchairs, to the right, they're drilling a water well, to, to um, working on latrines, a water system for holding water, different clubs have worked on. 
to here they've a uh, maternal health clinic, one of the uh, seven causes that Rotary has in Nepal that we've got clubs in our district that have done. So all this is because of the foundation and because of the work. There's not many places you can donate money and you can decide how to spend it because you apply for a grant to it. That doesn't happen with Make the Wish or, or Save the Children or any of those other ones. With the Rotary Foundation, you get to decide how they spend the money by clubs applying for grants. Here's a latrine in the Ivory Coast that, that's been built. We helped build uh, latrines in Belize with the Edda Project. The foundation itself has three key buckets, and we'll talk briefly about each of the buckets so you can better understand the foundation. It's my belief that people better understand how the foundation works or more likely to contribute to the foundation. So again, I'm, part of this is to enlighten, part of it is to encourage and to motivate you to be an ongoing contributor to the Rotary Foundation. The first one is the Polio Plus campaign. And that's something that was started in the 80s and it was our goal. It was all done by one Rotarian and one club in the Philippines who saw the fact that the, uh, the wealthy people were getting vaccines for polio and the people on the poor side of the river were not. So that club began a project to doing it that went forward. And finally, Rotary International thought so much of it that they began sponsoring it worldwide. And today, it's our number one priority is the eradication of polio. When we began this in 1988, there were over 850,000 cases of wild polio every year around the world. Today, we've had in the whole world only two cases. Uh, in fact, both of those took place in January. We've now gone over 300 days without a case of polio anywhere in the world. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've come a long way. Last year, we had 140, so we've definitely greatly done it. We also have a, an important surveillance system where we monitor it to see that we can, if any cases show up before, they, they actually feel the effects of it. Polio also has played a key part in the uh, war against COVID. They're using a lot of our surveillance methods have been going forward and detecting COVID. One interesting one is they found out that polio lives in the human body or also in the sewage and the waste system of humans. So we use around the world, we monitor the sewage to see if any polio virus is there. They're using that same technique to looking at COVID. In fact, here at the University of Washington in the dorms, looking at the, the sewer systems, they found a dorm that had COVID in it before anybody in the place actually knew that they had COVID. So it's again, using some of the knowledge that we brought to them because of the polio thing. We have some cell phone technology with apps that help them with polio and they're using it for COVID. Um, we have a call center in Pakistan that's being used for COVID. The medical people are doing it. So what we've done to the world, not only are we eradicating polio, but we've helped create medical assistance and ways of doing it that hopefully will fight any other pandemic or any other major disease that affects the world. Polio, we're this close to ending it. We truly are right now as we've only had two cases and none in the last 300 days. We partner with many other people, but particularly the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. They're so uh, admired by Rotary and what we do that for every dollar we contribute to the polio campaign, they contribute $2. Just an amazing vote of confidence from the world's largest philanthropic group. We celebrate World Polio Day in October, once a year, which is uh, saving the founder of the vaccines uh, birthday. Uh, there's a lot of controversy going on in the COVID vaccine and who owns it and who doesn't own it. Saban gave it free to the world. He has no royalties or anything on to the polio one. And so that's part of why it was able to achieve what it has because of his generosity in not patenting the polio vaccine. Right now, our annual commitment to end polio is that we raise $50 million a year and we need to do it, even though we're down to two cases, we need to continue to raise the money because of surveillance and other activities that we have to make sure that polio goes away. Because until we make sure, and then it has to go three years without a case before we can consider it eradicated. And if it does, if it comes back, it's only an airplane raid right away to come back and impact people again. So it's very, very important that we can be, continue both the surveillance and also the vaccines. We're continuing to vaccinate the children of the world. So a Rotary Club, as I mentioned earlier, has to earn or contribute $1,500 each year to uh, earn a certificate. 
There were originally three viruses of the polio, much as we have multiple waves of COVID right now. Right now, we've eradicated two of them. There's only one that exists right now. And so part of it has made the vaccine simpler because of the fact that we're only going after one of the three types of the virus. The chart below shows what we've had over the last several years. And you can see that last year, we had 140 cases. It, it, only in two countries, in Afghanistan and Pakistan. And again, this year, we've only had one case in each of those back in January. Nigeria was the last country to go polio free in August of last year. They were deemed to be polio free and therefore the whole continent of Africa is now polio free too. So it's Afghanistan and it's not the whole countries. It's really a, a very small geographic area along the borders in the mountains between the two countries. So it's key. We also have a polio plus society that you can join by committing to pledge $100 a year to the polio campaign. I can get the forms to you, the forms exist on the web, and you get a pin to wear, uh, which represents your commitment to polio. It's not it's quite as large as being shown here in the slide, but it's an attractive pin showing a child with the two drops going into their mouth. So I encourage all the fellow members to join the Polio Plus Society in committing to $100 or more each year. Let me switch to a second bucket is the endowment fund. And this is where people often offer their money from a will or a life insurance policy. This is where the, the contributions are professionally managed. They are not spent. So the money that you originally give are not spent. It's only the earnings that are spent in the endowment fund. So it's something very thing. The, right now, the endowment is a little over a billion six. Although only about 800 million is in cash, the other nearly a billion dollars is what referred to as expectancy. Somebody who has committed from their will or their estate to give money and eventually obviously it will do it. We have a goal in Rotary to, to get in the year 2025 to get 2 million and 25 in our endowment. So I highly encourage all of you to, to sign up. You don't have to open up your will. You can add what's just a codicil and we have a form available for you to do that and inform your family that you're willing to give part of your estate or any, a life insurance policy to the Rotary Foundation Endowment. A benefactor is one who gives $1,000 or more. The Quest gives $10,000 or more. And those who are able to, a legacy person, is one who commits a million dollars from their estate to give to the, to the endowment fund. So again, I can get the forms to you. It's something that I highly encourage and something that I've done and I wish others will do it too. The third bucket, which is really a principal one, is the annual fund, or sometimes referred to as every Rotarian every year. We encourage every member, that's, you know, includes everybody, to give $25 or more a year to the annual fund. That's not a lot of money. It's only a couple cups of coffee. Um, you can do it on a monthly basis, quarterly basis, or annual basis. And then the club, if the club averages $100 or more, then you become an every Rotarian every year club. And our club has done that for most years recently. So again, I encourage everybody to continue to do that this year too, and continue giving at least $25, hopefully more to the annual fund. And we can, uh, that can be done through your bill. As you know, you get invoice for it. So all you gotta do is continue to do that, or you can get a check to it, or you can get online and sign up for Rotary Direct and have it contributed on an ongoing basis. Uh, what the, you know, we have a, what's called a shared system. So the money that goes to the annual fund, half of that money that, that we comes from our district three years after being invested comes back to us in district designated funds. And we use that for our, 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 our grants that we give out. And our club has been very successful in applying for grants. We have two grants this year that we're working on to do things for. So it's again, it's our choosing how to spend the money. The other half goes to the World Fund, and that helps fund the global grants, which are much larger. The last global grant we did was several years ago, and uh, we did in Belize with ETA, and we provided about 75 latrines there for a, a global grant of about $75,000 there. So these are both ways that your annual money helps and what it comes back. So it's really money that you're um, giving to the foundation only to then we as a club invest it in a cause. Rotary Direct, as I mentioned several times, it's a safe, secure way. It gives money on a monthly, quarterly basis. We, you know, if you just pledge $10 a month, which you hardly can see, you can use your credit card or your bank account. If it comes on your credit card, whatever points or mileage you get, you can continue to get that on the area. So again, it's something that I highly encourage 
members to uh, sign up for is Rotary Direct. And I can help you figure out how to do that. And I'll show you later a, a phone number that you can call to sign yourself up. We really want Rotary to be one of your charities of choice. There's obviously lots of charities, lots of good places, everyone from your religious institution to uh, lots of other places that you can give money to. But Rotary ought to be identified as Rotarians, one of your key charity choices that you give. And again, because what it does for the world and what it does for the name of Rotary in, in doing being a Rotarian. $100, for example, just uh, you know, gives school supplies in a, in a grant. It may provide malaria test kits, a water hygiene training. That's just what a little, what a little $100 can give uh, to uh, the grants. $1,000, obviously a much more uh, larger contribution, can help in, in HIV and mobile, mobility for a disabled youth through a wheelchair or some other means for it. Also domestic abuse education. These are just small samples of where money is used for the foundation and what your contributions, you know, whether it's $100, whether it's $25 or $1,000, it all goes to the Rotary Foundation, it all does good in the world. We recognize people who give money to the, uh, either the annual fund or the polio fund. It, endowment funds are not included in this and you get a Paul Harris Fellow as when you accumulate $1,000 of gifts to it and subsequent $1,000 contributions get you a Paul Harris plus one, plus two, plus three, as you grow larger and larger until you've given $10,000 in cash to the foundation and then you're considered a major donor. So we have several of those in our clubs and encourage other ones. The other one we have is, uh, oops, oops, sorry, I missed it here. Um, so the other one is that we have a, uh, a Paul Harris Society. And the Paul Harris Society are those members of the club who contribute $1,000 every year. They commit to do that. So right now there are three members of our club, uh, myself, Nathan, and Dan Wilson who does it. And I'm proud to announce that we have a new person, Lana, who has chosen to become a Paul Harris Society member and contributor. So I thank you very much, Lana. Uh, you've got a certificate there that was given to you to deliver to you and, and also a Chevron, which is a small thing that you put on your badge. So uh, I encourage other members. I like other people, $1,000 is a sizable contribution, but it also does a sizable good projects in what we do in a rotary and something we can be very proud of in supporting that. This chart shows the money that we give from it. It's hard to read here in the form, so I've taken a couple of highlights out of it. Uh, we have that size of a large lineup here. Uh, I personally gave a large contribution from a windfall I got in the stock market to the Rotary Foundation last year. So I was uh, very happy about it. I, you know, I invest in the stock market regularly. I never get a windfall that I got last year. And so I felt that I needed to share some of it. Uh, and I, did, I chose to do that with the Rotary Foundation. Uh, right now we have 36 Paul Harris Fellows. So we have uh, some 42 or 44 members. So we're still, we're moving forward to it. We have major donors. We have the Rotary Direct there, uh, six people. We have given overall $341,000 to the Rotary Foundation. We ought to be very proud of that in our, in our short life of, uh, I guess about 15 years of they're about in doing it. So it's something that uh, we should be very proud of and keep going. Uh, we can uh, hit them the half million dollar mark shortly. There are only three clubs in our district who have given more than a million dollars to the foundation. And they normally celebrate that million dollars very big. In fact, the most recent one was Lakewood Club who gave a million dollars and the president of Rotary International came out to a dinner celebrating their million dollar contribution. Yeah. So it's something we can do in, at various different levels of those contributions. Every return every year. Right now, we only have seven people in the club who have contributed $25 or more that, that have gone to the foundation. I'm, other money may be right now with the treasurer and waiting to uh, get sent to the foundation. It only counts when it goes to the foundation itself, but we collect it. Uh, last year, we had 42 members. Nearly every member gave the $25 or more. Our per capita this year is only forty dollars. We're, we're a little, we're just short of being half year. Last year, because of my contribution and everybody else's contribution, we had a whopping average thirty five hundred dollars for it. The total contribution, which includes polio, we're at about ninety two dollars right now. 
And uh, you can see the level last year because of the large contribution. So I encourage the rest of the members here to continue making their contributions either through their dues, through direct, and moving forward. And the fact that we will advance the money that has been collected by the dues before the end of the year so you can get your tax deduction in the year. So again, it's really, really special to the foundation and it's something we as Rotarians, uh, you know, you can do it at a $25 level, you can do it at a very large level, but it's something that we all ought to support in growing what it's able to do. And, and the money that we use, we, we get uh, grants back from it for the money that we give to the foundation. Supporting Rotary Foundation, as I've mentioned here, it's starting to close up and summarize it every Rotary year. Uh, that's something that we all should be supporting. Um, Paul Harris Fellow, again, accumulating $1,000 or more. A sustaining member is one who gives $100. And so you, you know, that's something we greatly appreciate. The Paul Harris Society, those people who commit to giving $1,000 every year. A benefactor is one who gives from the will or state $1,000. The quest is $10,000, and obviously uh, we have much bigger amounts for the people to give who are encourage it, and I'll be happy to talk to anybody about who wants to give large sums of money to the foundation. Um, there are a couple of changes this year, and the first one I've already alluded to, the size of the district grant have always been just $3,500. The next year's grant, and the next rotary year, the size of the grant you can apply for it depends upon how much money you've given. So if we can continue to give over $200 per person, uh, we're not there yet right now, so we need more contributions, we'll be able to apply for a $5,000 grant. And those clubs who don't give uh, $100 will only get a $2,000 grant. So again, it's something important. The other thing is the Rotary Direct. The clubs with the highest percentage of Rotary Direct, it's something we believe is very important to Rotary and very important to what we do, will actually get cash prizes. You can get a cash prize of $2,500 not for a party, but for a project that you could, your, your choice to use that money. The other thing we've done is we want new members to get started on their campaign. So the district will donate $10 in their name to their Paul Harris fellow. And if the member contributes the other 15, making them an every return every year with the $25, and the, then the district will give them an extra 200 points. So that when you get to a thousand, either dollars of contribution or points, you then become a Paul Harris fellow. So. A brand new member can be almost a quarter of the way towards their first Paul Harris Fellow um, by contributing just the $15 on top of the $10 from the district. Rotary Direct, as I mentioned, in, this is the contact summers number. You can fill out the form and go to Rotary Direct, or you can just call them, much as any other call center, and you can sign up for Rotary Direct, you know, using a credit card or a bank account. You can give it to the polio campaign, you can give it to the annual fund. Uh, and then within the annual fund, you can go to particular causes we want. So the people at the, uh, the help desk the, will help you uh, do that online in a secure manner. Um, and you could actually, because Rotary sponsors in seven languages, you could actually make that call in any one of seven languages. So uh, John could continue trying his Spanish. But the ask today, and I moved through this pretty quickly here, is... Um, Every return of the year, we'd like to again get everybody to give at least that $25. So if you've not done it so far this year, please do it. Um, and then sign up for Rotary Direct, which actually saves a lot of administration. Obviously, it gets you continuing to contribute every year, but it also reduces the amount of stuff that you still get the bill and the invoice, but the money won't have to go to the treasurer and then move on to the foundation. It'll go directly there. This is Rotary's overall model. Together, we will see a world where people will unite, take action to create change. So something that we important. Uh, this quote on the top is pretty important here and there's a lot to do with the foundation. The things you do for yourself are gone when you're gone, but the things you do, others maintain your legacy. So we as Rotarians want our good world, good things to go on and the Rotary Foundation is the one that helps us do that and brings it to the future so we can do that in the future. On behalf of the Rotary Foundation in our district, I wanna thank you and appreciate what you're doing and the fact that we can make a difference and that Rotary, Rotary opens up opportunities.